let me introduce you to two of the most incredible young people that I know. Thanks, Dan. Derek is here, Stephanie is here. They are part of the Walleen family. What generation are you guys? Fourth. Fourth generation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I pick on those I love. Uh, I consider passive aggressive as a, a show of kindness <laughs> yeah, towards absolutely. anyone. I adore these two because I know their passion and they share it. I had asked for this to come back into this program. Mm -hmm. I opened uh, the show that I started at 12 noon here on QVC2. It's called mm -hmm. The Great Outdoors with Dan. And it we opened with Court. Yeah. Uh, now, Court is sufficiently older than them and had to go take a nap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you heard that too. Uh, we brought it back. We had over 350 people who brought it up. My passion this year is to try to draw as many pollinators oh, back yeah. to my farm as possible. Definitely. I want I want clouds of butterflies. I want flocks, which doesn't happen, of hummingbirds. <laughs> and I want bees. I want honeybees. As a farmer, I can tell you, without these pollinators, everything that we grow ceases to exist. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna get a hummingbird bush, if you're gonna get a butterfly bush, yeah. get one that doesn't drive you crazy. This doesn't get leggy. It doesn't grow to 10 feet tall. That's correct. It's beautiful. And I love that you're gonna get a gazillion and four flowers. Absolutely. You wanna take it? Yeah, well, you said it pretty much perfectly, Dan, but why this butterfly bush? It's called the queen of hearts because it will truly steal your heart. Yeah. and everyone else that comes to your garden to see it. Because like you said, we all know and love a butterfly bush, but they get really tall and lanky, really spindly. They're not that beautiful after a couple years. Right. This is truly a bush. It will grow maybe two to three feet tall, three to four feet wide. It's a beautiful mm. um, mounding shape. And like you said, it will be loaded with extra long seven to nine inch flowers that truly smell like a pot of honey. Now Stephanie, one thing you didn't say, this is brand new yes. this year. No, it it just right. was released into the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is literally technology. That's what, yep. that's what these folks do so very, very well. And you're one of the very first people in North America to even know that this exists. Yeah. That's how it comes to you. This that's is a half this gallon pot. Half that's gallon pot. pot. And this is, I mean, if you compare it to the one we have on set, that's as mature. Right. They're almost the same size. So you're not doing a lot of waiting. Now look at this. All of these little things right here are flowers waiting to burst It's covered open. in buds. Yeah. So all these little buds here. Now well, look down here. This little guy look, and it, is already starting to now bloom Dan, in oh, color. Smell that. Very right. I know. And it, does it not smell? It, like Honey. It smells like honey. Just it is like amazing. Honey. It's funny. Honeysuckles don't even smell like honey. They it's don't. true, actually. <laughs> this smells like honey. Here's the other factor. It is perfect for already taking what you already have, whatever your garden is like, whatever your landscaping might be, and maybe get one or two and put them flanking on either side. Definitely. Draw those hummingbirds mm -hmm. in. Absolutely. Also, let's say you've got a, a, a produce garden and you are plagued by angry, roving gangs of mean bunny rabbits and deer that come and eat your stuff. The weird thing is, is the more fragrant, those butterfly bushes, when you have something fragrant that draws butterflies, deer and rabbits hate it. Mm -hmm. So use it as a natural uh, security yep. system yeah. like to keep that. the deer, the deer and the bunnies out. There's yeah. the butterflies that you're talking about. Now, butterflies, don't normally lay their eggs on this okay, like you're talking about the monarch like the Asclepia. Okay. Right. But all butterflies and other pollinators love the nectar inside it's these food. flowers. It is a food source that's very loved by them. Now here's the thing. Typical butterfly bush, you know, I'm six foot three. They're taller than me. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're they, gangly they and they they're fall not real over. bushes. They're they, like they become almost too, trees. yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this how, is manageable. It's, it, it's three got to a, four feet. Exactly, yes. a perfect mounding habit. You can actually put this and grow it in a pot. That's yep. what I was you can't say. do that with the traditional. Well, yep. uh, my, our pool area is very, very small. Mm -hmm. But I have two areas that are at the corner of the pool that I want to draw butterflies. And a, I had a big butterfly bush there. But then it completely blocked the view of us inside the backyard being able to see out. Mm. Yeah. So this is now much more manageable and much, much easier. And it comes back every single year. It's super winter hardy, Dan. And I wanted to show again what exactly you will be receiving at home because this is remarkable. And it's actually our first time ever 
offering a butterfly bush in a half gallon container. Yep. Yep. So that alone is super cool. And this is covered in flowers. These are actually already blooming and it's has, I couldn't even count how many buds there are. So when you get this home, likely we'll already have flowers. How, how old is the plant? that you will be shipping out. By One the, year. There you go. It's yeah, already by the time you receive old. it, it'll be a year, year old. So it's mm -hmm. already felt what a winter is like. That's right. So it's already hardy and ready to go. We've yeah, had over definitely. 500 that have been ordered already today. And I've got to tell you, I, I don't see color the way most people do. Are you but this, blind? Yeah. Oh. Can you tell by the way I dress? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Uh, it, it's delicate and it's sweet. Well, and it's, it's for those of us beautiful. who can see full color, no offense, Dave, no, no, just saying, this is a very bright, deep magenta that will truly shine in the garden. That's why I love this collection because this color is very unique. The Queen of Hearts collection, it's it's new. So this okay. color is has never really before been seen. That's a great point, Stephanie. A lot of butterfly bush. It's kind of a lilac, a uh, dainty yes. little, yep. you know, it's very commonplace. They're pretty, but here it's a bold statement in the garden, not Absolutely. only to humans, but to the pollinators because that color red is scientifically recognized to be the attracting um, yeah. uh, it, it's weird. bullseye target. If you've never had butterflies in your yard, and I'm talking about butterflies in, in large quantities, plant this, plant this, and, and they will come. Look at the color, and I love, this is such a great close up of the actual flowers that I learned, they're called panicles, which means a long panicles, panicles mm -hmm. that, a long flower, and you can see them. That'll There's, win you a game of Scrabble, right? That's a nine. I know. Word. I hope my brother Devin is watching because cool. we play Scrabble all the time. <laughs> Anyways, um, here is the true bush that you will be growing. It is really a butterfly bush, and it will attract. Wait, and look at the perfect mound yep. there. It's gorgeous. Yep. It's without absolutely blocking gorgeous. you. Uh, I love monarch butterflies. I am obsessed by mm -hmm. monarch butterflies. I am obsessed by by hummingbirds. They are migrating, they're starting their migrations right now from middle of Mexico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a monarch butterfly to get to my backyard is a flight of over 1,500 miles and will take them over three, almost three months. I know, wow. it's wild. They've got to have fuel between here and there. There's only one plant that a monarch butterfly will lay its eggs on. So only one. Yep. Yeah. That's the Asclepia. The Asclepia, mm -hmm. yeah. but when you put this out, it becomes for a it's lack like a, of a better term. It's a restaurant. Truck stop, yeah. Yeah, it's the way a truck home, stop. That's cute. So that's they can cute. stop from their flight yeah. and eat. Mm -hmm. Because this gives such such sweet natural sugar. Absolutely. It's the high octane fuel that keeps them going. That's right. And the same is true for your hummingbirds as it is for your bees as it is for your butterflies. Plant them, you'll be amazed at what shows and up. I recommend if that's your oh, yes. interest in the garden. You pick up the bounty fertilizer mm -hmm. and use this okay. not only for better, bigger blooms, but the nutrition that the pollinators are going to get from the nectar. That's good. Is that much better? Mm -hmm. uh, so. and already, we've had sixty thousand people who have picked up their fertilizer. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's a beautiful. Book. The foliage, by the way, is pretty. The foliage is beautiful. It's and deep green, kind of fuzzy. It looks almost like a mint leaf without the mint. It does. It does. And what I love about growing the Queen of Hearts butterfly bush is that it starts to bloom sort of at late summer. So when most of your garden has kind of already tuckered out, right. these bright magenta flowers are going to truly burst on your butterfly bush and they are going to last for weeks, providing that nectar for the for the monarchs, but yeah. also providing beautiful cut flowers that you can bring home and oh, enjoy yeah. the fragrance. These love to be cut. In fact, this is one of the few perennials that as you cut it, it's like, yeah, keep cutting because I'm going to make more flowers. Mm -hmm. So the more you cut, the, the more, more you, you get. get. Mm -hmm. they, they told me that about hair and it was a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's actually Apparently, true for this. This was an annual. <laughs> Good one. That was pretty funny. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of stuff, man. I'm so excited. We've got another 30 minutes coming up with these two very special people, uh, Stephanie and Derek Walleen. We're going to show them ice plants, yeah, uh, which right. I now know well. Uh, th which, by the way, they grew in an area on my farm that I, I never thought anything would grow with. Over 700 of these Monarch Series Queens have been purchased already. And also, the Queen of Vines. This is clematis, and I've had clematis 